Are you getting random stutters, low FPS, or annoying lag in Counter-Strike 2? In this video, I'll walk you through powerful tweaks and hidden tricks to make your game run super smooth, even on low-end PCs. These methods are fully safe, easy to follow, and they'll help you fix lag, boost FPS, and make CS2 feel buttery smooth like the pros. So let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimizing Windows, using the Storage Sense settings for CS2. First, open the system settings on your Windows computer and type the words Storage Sense into the search bar at the top of the window. Once you see it in the results, click on the Storage Sense option to open it. After opening it, make sure the switch is turned on. This feature is very helpful because it automatically removes extra files that your system does not need. These files can build up over time and cause your PC to become slower. By turning Storage Sense on, your system will stay clean and more responsive. Next, click on the option called Configure Cleanup Schedules. Here, set the schedule to run every day so your system stays clean every single day. Also, make sure to set it so that files in the recycle bin are automatically deleted after 14 days. This will free up space and reduce the amount of clutter on your drive. Once you have made all of these changes, click the button that says Run Storage Sense Now. This will clean your system immediately and remove unnecessary files right away. Doing this regularly will help your computer stay fast and clean, which will improve the performance of games like CS2 by reducing background clutter and making more storage available for game performance. Step 2. Counter-Strike 2. Priority Registry Tweaks for Maximum Performance You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, you will improve how your CPU handles CS2 by applying special priority tweaks using registry files. First, open the folder that is named Counter-Strike 2 Priority. Inside this folder, you will see three different registry files. If your PC is low-end and does not have powerful hardware, double-click the registry file called Normal Priority. If your PC is a mid-range system, then double-click the registry file named Medium Priority. If your PC has high-end specs and strong performance, then double-click the registry file called High Priority. These files tell your system how important it should treat CS2 when running, and choosing the correct one will help your CPU focus more power on the game. This means better FPS, less lag, and smoother gameplay overall. After double-clicking the correct file, click Yes and OK when prompted to apply the tweak. Step 3. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, and sometimes Windows parks some of them to save energy, especially when your computer is idle. However, for gaming, especially in CS2, you want all your CPU cores to be active all the time. After it has been installed, right-click the shortcut and choose Run as Administrator so it can make important changes. Once the program opens, it will scan your system and show which CPU cores are parked, turned off, and which ones are active. To activate all your CPU cores, click the button that says Unpark. After that, all cores will become active and ready to work together, which will make your PC perform better. This helps CS2 run smoother and faster by giving your computer more processing power. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your system respond faster and reduce lag, especially in CS2, you can use a tool called MSI Utility. This tool makes your hardware communicate better with Windows and gives your system faster input responses. After downloading and opening the program, you will see a list of all your computer's hardware components. Look for your dedicated GPU, graphics processing unit. Tick the box that says MSI next to it, and then set its interrupt priority to high. After that, look for your integrated GPU, like Intel graphics if you're on a laptop. Also, tick the MSI box for it and set its interrupt priority to high as well. Click the apply button at the bottom to save the settings and then close the program. This tweak helps reduce input delay and stuttering while playing CS2, giving you a smoother gaming experience. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. 
it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region, select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Optimizing system memory using ISLC program. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. The ISLC program helps clean up RAM, which is your computer's memory, so your system runs faster and doesn't get laggy. First, open the ISLC program. Look at the top to see how much total memory your system has. If it says 16,000 megabytes, then type in 8,000 for the list size. If it says 32,000 megabytes, then type in 16,000. Now check the boxes that say Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon. This makes sure ISLC runs in the background automatically every time you start your computer. On the right side of the program, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. For the ISLC polling rate, use 1000. But if your PC is very slow, change it to 1000 instead. Once you've made all the changes, click the Stop button first. Then click Start. After that, click Purge Standby List. This will help free up memory and keep your system smooth and responsive while playing CS2. Step 6. Boost Windows Performance with Chris Titus Tech. Utility for Counter-Strike 2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to make your computer even faster using a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This is a very helpful tool that turns off background apps and services that you don't need and that slow down your system. First, go to your FPS Boost Pack folder and look for the text file that came with it. Open that file and copy everything written in it. It has code that we will use. Next, open the Windows search bar again and type PowerShell. Right-click on PowerShell and choose Run as Administrator. This gives it permission to change things on your system. Now paste the code you copied earlier into PowerShell and press Enter. The Chris Titus Tech Utility Program will now open. Inside the tool, click on the tab called Tweaks. You will now see a few different tweak presets made to improve your system. The one called Minimal is great for most people. It removes extra stuff you don't need but keeps everything important. The one called Standard goes even deeper and removes more stuff to give better performance. Don't worry, the tool makes a system restore point before it does anything, so you can always go back if you want to undo the changes later. After choosing Minimal or Standard, click the button that says Run Tweaks. When it's finished, close the program. This will shut down background apps and services that you don't use, fix FPS drops, reduce lag, and improve your frame rate when playing CS2. Step 7. Reduce keyboard input delay using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. We're going to make your keyboard respond faster using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. Inside the program, change these settings. Set Ignore Under to 0 milliseconds. Set Repeat Delay to 130 milliseconds. Set Repeat Rate to 10 milliseconds. Then check the small box on the right-hand side of the program to turn the settings on. Finally, click OK to save the settings. These changes will make your keyboard respond more quickly when you press keys, which is very useful in CS2 where fast actions matter a lot. Step 8. Optimizing Windows using the Ultimate Power Planet. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To get the most performance out of your computer, you need to make sure it's using the best power plan. Go to the Windows search bar and type Power until you see an option that says Change Power Plan. Open that. If your computer is using the balanced power plan, that's not good for gaming. Balance mode tries to save power, which slows down your CPU. You need to switch to either high performance or ultimate performance mode. To get ultimate performance, go to your FPS boost pack and run the command file called ultimate performance. Right click it and choose run as administrator. Once you run the command, a message will pop up saying it's been enabled. Then go back to the power plan settings. You will now see ultimate performance in the list. Click on it to select it. This will make sure your CPU is always running at full speed, which helps you get higher FPS and smoother gameplay in CS2. If this full guide helped you, please click the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more performance and optimization tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.